Hey, it's Nick here, and you're on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm a top potter on TradingView, and it's time to make another full market breakdown to see exactly what kind of opportunities we can be looking for on the period that we will be analyzing both from a technical and an order flow perspective. So without further ado, let's jump onto the charts. <music> Okay, so the pair that I want to speak about into this video is NZD CAD and the reason for which I want to speak about NZD CAD is because the pair is very near to providing to us a good trading opportunity. So obviously I want to make an update and breakdown of the pair to show you exactly where we can be looking for the next opportunity on it. Now, as usual, I will be keeping the analysis as educational as possible. So first we will be speaking about this market from a technical perspective. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective with the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. And we will be checking what kind of order flow we have both for the NZD and obviously for the CAD. And by using the combination of what we have from an order flow and a technical perspective, we will see where we have the best probabilities because Always remember that when you check the commitment of traders, what you're actually checking is how the biggest speculators in the market, so hedge funds, are moving their positions. And if you're able to track how they're doing that, you do have an advantage over your competition in the market. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just provided a nice overextended W formation. Now, generally speaking, after an overextended W formation, what you want to see is for the market to create a move to the downside. And you want to see the market create a move to the downside all the way down to complete the pattern at the previous resistance, which is now turned support. So here on the monthly time frame, what we expect is for the market to create a nice move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at this previous resistance area, which has now turned a support zone. Because as you know, in the market, previous resistance, once it is broken to the upside, is turned support. So here on the monthly, everything looks quite bearish because we expect the market to give us a retracement from this quite strong impulse. One last thing to, to say here on the monthly is that generally speaking, if you have an impulse in the market and you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse, what we can see is that we have our 0.382 Fibonacci retracement lining up exactly at this area. So we can expect the market to give us a retracement to this zone before starting the continuation to the upside. So on the monthly, everything is aligning for a nice retracement exactly to this area, which is the confluence of the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this impulse with this previous monthly resistance now turn support, so a strong liquidity area that we expect the market to retest. Going down on the weekly time frame, we have a completely different scenario. In fact, here in the weekly, we can see that the market is currently testing this structure area here. Now, keep in mind that in all this impulse to the upside, there is one candle which is not related to the move, which is exactly this red candle here. And when you have a candle which is not related to a move, that candle is a strong structure candle. In this case, since the market is approaching this candle from below, it is a strong supply zone. And even though at the moment you might be arguing, OK, Nick, but the market is actually above the zone, this means nothing because today we still have a at today, at the moment that I'm actually making this video, we still have three days and 10 hours to go before this weekly candle will actually close, meaning that all this move can easily become a wick and the market just create the market can easily just create a move to the downside and close below this resistance, confirming it as a very strong supply and resistance area. So all this move to the upside can easily just become a wick. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now, from a daily perspective, we have quite interesting price action. At the moment, we can see that the market has just provided a nice W formation. Now, generally speaking, if you have an impulse, a correction, a lower low and a higher high, what you expect is for the market to create a move to the downside, to go and complete 
the pattern at the previous resistance now turn support. So here on the daily time frame, what we expect is for the market to create a move to the downside and go and complete the pattern at this candle here, which is the previous resistance now turn support. And it is a quite strong support zone because in fact, in all this move to the downside, there is only one candle not related to the move, which is exactly this red, this green candle here, which as I just said, is a strong demand zone. So here on the daily, we have a nice W formation, meaning that we can easily create this move to the downside. And in that case, all the a body of the candle that we currently see on the weekly would actually become a wick, as I have just explained previously, and the market could easily respect the weekly supply and resistance. So at the moment, by checking the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes, we can see that it the overall view for NZD CAD from a technical perspective looks quite bearish for a short term retracement, at least to this area here, to complete this daily W formation and reject the weekly resistance. Now, let's go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So, commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. Now, if we check the NZD, what we can see is that with the last report, net positions have increased from 14.7K all the way up to 15.9K. So we had a quite strong increase of the net positioning with another 1.8K longs added with the last report and only 590 shorts. So the NZD is getting quite strong. But if we go and see what we have on the CAD, what we can see. Now on the CAD, we can see that the CAD is getting even stronger. In fact, we went from having 21.2K net positions minus, meaning that we had more shorts than longs from an institutional perspective with 49.9K shorts and only 28.7K only 28 longs, all the way up to having the completely opposite scenario. So 10.3K net positions, so positive, <clears throat> with 43.6K long positions and 33.3K shorts. So we went from having negative net positioning to having positive net positioning with more longs than shorts from an institutional perspective on the CAD. So the CAD is getting very strong, meaning that we can easily create a short-term retracement to this area, at least to complete the daily W formation. So how we will be approaching this kind of opportunity and situation with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily timeframes are the best timeframes for the direction of the market. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frame is the four hours. So with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective during this move to the upside. And we will be waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bullish market as we have right now to a four hour bearish market. And only when the market will shift from a four hour bullish to a four hour bearish market, only at that point, we will be adding NZD CAD to our watch list with students. And if the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this W formation at the neckline, which is the previous resistance now turned support. If you made it this far in the video, it would be great if you could smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the channel and support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a full mentorship program that will teach you exactly the rules of my rule-based strategies and also give you every single day a new market breakdown in which I show you exactly how to apply the strategies with entries, stops, and take profits, as well as answering every question that you have every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. It will teach you everything that you need to trade the market consistently. So I will see you in it. The link is in the description or I will see you in the next video.